and welcome to week eight of a year of wisdom let's get to reading day 56 job 37 my heart pounds at this and leaps from my chest just listen to his thunderous voice and the rumbling that comes from his mouth. He lets it loose beneath the entire sky, his lightning to the ends of the earth. Then there comes a roaring sound. God thunders with his majestic voice. He does not restrain the lightning when his rumbling voice is heard. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall to the earth, and the torrential rains, his mighty torrential rains, serve as his sign to all mankind, so that all men may know his work. The wild animals enter their lairs and stay in their dens. The windstorm comes from its chamber, and the cold from the driving north winds. Ice is formed by the breath of God and watery expanses are frozen. He saturates clouds with moisture. He scatters his lightning through them. They swirl about, turning round and round at his direction, accomplishing everything he commands them over the surface of the inhabited world. He causes this to happen for punishment for his land or for his faithful love. Listen to this, Job. Stop and consider God's wonders. Do you know how God directs the clouds or makes their lightning flash? Do you understand how the clouds float, those wonderful works of him who has perfect knowledge? You whose clothes get hot when the south wind brings calm to the land, can you help God spread out the skies as hard as a cast metal mirror? Teach us what we should say to him. We cannot prepare our case because of our darkness. Should he be told that I want to speak? Can a man speak when he is confused? Now, men cannot even look at the sun when it is in the skies after a wind has swept through and cleared them away. Yet, out of the north he comes, shrouded in a golden glow. Awesome majesty surrounds him. The Almighty, we cannot reach him. He is exalted in power. He will not oppress justice and abundant righteousness. Therefore, men fear him. He does not look favorably on any who are wise in heart. And it's February, so we're going to double up on some chapters for a few days. Proverbs 25 These two are Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, and the glory of kings to investigate matter. As the heaven is high and the earth is deep, so the hearts of kings cannot be investigated. Remove impurities from silver, and a vessel will be produced for a silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's presence, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Don't brag about yourself before a king, and don't stand in the place of the great. For it is better for him to say to you, come up here, than to demote you in plain view of a noble. Don't take a matter to court hastily. Otherwise, what will you do afterward if your opponent humiliates you? Make your case with your opponent without revealing another's secret. Otherwise, the one who hears you will disgrace you and you'll never live it down. A word spoken at the right time is like gold apples on a silver tray. A wise correction to a receptive ear is like a gold ring or an ornament of gold. To those who send him, a trustworthy messenger is like the coolness of snow on a harvest day. He refreshes the life of his masters. The man who boasts about a gift that does not exist is like clouds and wind without rain. A ruler can be persuaded through patience, and a gentle tongue can break a bone. If you find honey, eat only what you need, otherwise you'll get sick from it and vomit. 
seldom set your foot in your neighbor's house. Otherwise, he'll get sick of you and hate you. A man giving false testimony against his neighbor is like a club, a sword, or a sharp arrow. Trusting an unreliable person in a difficult time is like a rotten tooth or a faltering foot. Singing songs to a troubled heart is like taking off clothing on a cold day or like pouring vinegar on soda. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. And if he's thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap burning coals on his head and the Lord will reward you. The north wind produces rain and a backbiting tongue angry looks. Better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a house with a nagging wife. Good news from a distant land is like cold water to a parched throat. A righteous person who yields to the wicked is like a muddied spring or a polluted well. It is not good to eat too much honey or to seek glory after glory. A man who does not control his temper is like a city whose wall is broken down. Like snow in summer and rain at harvest, honor is inappropriate for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow or a fluttering swallow, an undeserved curse goes nowhere. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the backs of fools. Don't answer a fool according to his foolishness, or you'll be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his own foolishness, or he'll become wise in his own eyes. The one who sends a message by a fool's hand cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like lame legs that hang limp. Giving honor to a fool is like binding a stone in a sling. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a stick with thorns brandished by the hand of a drunkard. The one who hires a fool or who hires those passing by is like an archer who wounds everyone. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for him. The slacker says, there's a lion in the road, a lion in the public square. A door turns on its hinges and a slacker on his bed. The slacker buries his hand in the bowl. He's too weary to bring it to his mouth. In his own eyes, a slacker is wiser than seven men who can answer sensibly. A person who is passing by and meddles in a quarrel that's not his is like one who grabs a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws flaming darts and deadly arrows, so is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Without wood, fire goes out. Without a gossip, conflict dies down. As charcoal for embers and wood for fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. A gossip's words are like choice food that goes down to one's innermost being. Smooth lips with an evil heart are like glaze on an earthen vessel. A hateful person disguises himself with his speech and harbors deceit within. When he speaks graciously, don't believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is concealed by deception, his evil will be revealed in the assembly. The one who digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever rolls a stone, it will come back on him. A lying tongue hates those it crushes, and a flattering mouth causes ruin. And once again, thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell so you'll get notifications for the next reading. See you tomorrow. Blessings. I know without a doubt You'll carry me out of the storm I'm standing at the crossroads I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you Lord it glorifies you when you're the only answer.
for me and I'm amazed by you Lord because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet I want to thank you Lord for believing in me 